Hey guys, it's Scalibur here, and today I wanted to make a quick video about an upcoming Optifine feature, which I reckon a lot of you will be really excited about. Uh, Optifine is currently in the process of updating to 119.4, and hopefully in the future also 120 soon enough, and there are some really cool new features that will be coming along to Optifine, which I will definitely, definitely be taking advantage of. First of all, I want to show you that we can now use non-solid blocks to make overlays. Yes, this does mean that universal snow overlays will finally be a thing that we can really do without all the flickering nonsense and strange models and everything else that usually comes with this concept. Overlays will now work with non-full blocks. This will work as you'd expect, it's it's kind of awesome. I mean, <laughs> I kind of can't believe I'm seeing this in game right now. You know, this is something that we've wanted to do in texture packs for years. There have been so many ways of getting around it, so many weird workarounds. But in the future, it's going to be possible. Now, in terms of when this will actually be in Optifine, it's kind of unclear at the moment. Um, I'm told that this will actually be in Optifine for 120, and it might not even be in the release version. It may be a little few updates down the line. So yeah, it's not going to be in Optifine anytime soon, but it will be coming at some point in the future and that to me is very exciting. You can see here I've done a few examples. I've applied this overlay to uh, oak leaves and spruce leaves as well just to show you this could look really fucking awesome in the future. You kind of got to use your imagination a little bit here and put the snow layer on. I could have put the snow layer on myself, but I'm lazy, so you can imagine it as best as you can. And there are actually more features coming in this update as well, as opposed to just being non-solid blocks, we'll now actually be able to do overlays based on liquids as well. So as you can see here, I've got a really simple thing going for sand. This one is obviously quite self-explanatory. If you had water next to sand, you'd have a little bit of dampness to the side of the sands where the water was being soaked up into the block or that's kind of the idea, I guess. This one's actually got a height limitation to it, so it's only being applied to height 62. Uh, but without that height limitation, it will actually apply to the sand blocks underneath the water as well, which is really interesting, because what this means is this overlay method going to liquids is actually applying not based on the top texture of the water, but on the fact that there is a block of water in this location. So if you think about this, right, so if I've got a glass block, imagine that this glass block is not a glass block, but the water block itself. It's as though this top face is, is actually here, even though we can never see it, it's completely transparent to us when we're above and even in the water, but it will actually act as though the block is next to it and you'll be able to make an overlay. Now, for me personally, I can't think of any good uses for that, if I'm honest. I think it really works well on the shoreline here, um, but I'm sure someone will be able to think of a good use for it. And speaking of liquid overlays, that will also include lava, as you can see here. So at some point in the future, we will be able to make the lava seep into the netherrack that it's around on the shoreline. I think that looks absolutely awesome. I'm really hyped for these updates to be in Optifine. Hopefully they'll be in at some point during the 119.4 release, but it will probably be during the 120 release of Optifine, which is absolutely fine. But they seem to be working great right now. I don't really see any issues with these. These, these could just go straight in there as far as I'm concerned. Now, unfortunately, this method isn't completely without fault. There are a couple things to take in, into consideration here. Given that this method that I'm using right now to create this green line is actually an overlay, you have to imagine that this block of snow is actually a full block of snow like this because the game will treat it as such. And it can now actually make overlays on any of the surrounding stone blocks. But I've got it set up so that the only texture that's present is the one that will show up beneath the snow because that's probably how I'll be using it. But as you can see here, we have this overlay working fine, but as soon as a snow block gets placed next to it, the snow block is now detecting this block to the right of it as one of the overlays of this piece of snow, as opposed to the downwards facing overlay of this piece of snow right here. Now that is a little bit problematic because it basically just means that this particular way of doing things won't work under specific circumstances. As far as I'm concerned, there is no way of changing the priority as to which face is measured first. So that's just simply not something that we can achieve at the moment. What I would really like to see from Optifine in the future is a way of choosing how these overlays are either combined together when there's multiple checks being done on the same block face or just simply having it so that we can change the priority or we can change which directions are being checked on the overlay itself. There are a number of ways of getting around this but currently there isn't anything in Optifine to actually make this possible. So this feature is still Still not perfect, but it is getting a lot better and I will be adding it to Celesti for sure when it is in the game. 
So what do you guys think of that? Real, actual, working snow overlays at some point in the future. How awesome could that be? I just want to make a quick video here because I was really excited about this new update. Um, I must thank you and Hal for providing me with the experimental Optifine version. Very cool. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, I'm not going to go much further into this idea for now because there's still a chance that it just simply doesn't get added to Optifine. But I'm very confident that it will. It's working brilliantly and I really do want to see it in game for sure. And I want to start playing around with some new features in Celeste. So speaking of, if you guys have any interesting ideas for how this could be used in the future, please do let me know. One that I've actually already come up with, which I think I will definitely be doing, is moss. Moss layers, right? So you find moss layers in caves underground, and I believe you can find it in the new mangrove swamps as well. But again, similar concept, right? If we have snow right here, snow is two pixels thick and uh, moss is one pixel thick, as you can see. But snow already comes down over some blocks in the game, and in the future will come down over a lot more of the blocks in the game. But moss should do the same, right? So one of the things I'll definitely be adding if this comes to Minecraft in the near future is moss overlays for sure. But again, can you guys think of anything else that could be done? Anyway, that's all from me for now. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.